Who is God speaking to? Hmm. Now I've given you an answer and an answer you have been desiring. What answer do I give men when they say, where is your God? Tell them the problem is your understanding. Don't miss any session. I will be teaching you what we call results in the kingdom. Because you see, everything we call results in the kingdom is with respect to the will of God beyond your desire. We are going to examine the subject of results. <laughs> are we together? So there are some of you, while heaven is clapping for you already, a champion is imagining the spirit. You are busy saying, God, but the car has not come. And God says, you mean the five years training is just to give you a car? No, come on. No, come on. Hallelujah. You've forgotten the discipline of prayer that situation brought for you. That it was on account of it. I know the man eventually died. But how about the three hours prayer every night? Now that the person is gone, it has become a habit in you. You can't undo it again. That is a track record in the spirit. How about your diligence? A heightened level of consecration you came into. Although, listen, the reason most of you do not know why sometimes God keeps quiet regardless what you are going through. It's not that he's irresponsible. He has found your confusion as a healthy tool that leads you to his presence. He will prefer to leave you there until you get there. As he trains you, he will give you a higher perspective. And he's not afraid of time passing because he can restore. He's not afraid of things living because he can restore. Listen. All through the time that Job went through his tragedy, God never spoke until chapter 38. And when God shows up, you would think he would comfort Job and say, Job, I understand. He said, who is this that darkened counsel without knowledge? This is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Are you taking a minute or two to absorb this reality as an imprint upon your spirit? Hallelujah. Listen to me. I hope you know that Jacob's frustration in the Bible, watch this now. In chapter 28 of Genesis, the Bible says Jacob came to a place called Luz and he lay there to sleep. And then the Bible tells us, watch this, that he saw a ladder that, as, that went to the heavens and angels ascending and descending. He was not transformed with that encounter because all he was looking for was things. The next thing that will happen to Job's life was his tragedy in the house of Laban. And Laban began to manipulate him against the indices of things. But by the time we get to Genesis chapter 32, the Bible says for him to receive an encounter, he had to dismiss things. Cows go away. Wives go away. When he was alone. No things. God said, you are ready for a report now. And he came to him. And in all of that encounter, there was nothing about things. He said, what is your name? Oh, it bless me, oh. And God says, let me show you how we bless in the kingdom. We give you credibility in the spirit. Hear me. Let me speak to a man of God here. You, ministry may not look like it is working, but there is credibility you are establishing in the spirit. This is what the Bible means when it says, Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. He, they are not known in the spirit because they have. They are known in the spirit because of what they have become. There is a register in the spirit 
where the rankings of men are recorded. This is what translates to authority within the cosmos. You don't just tell people be healed just because you saw it in scripture. Believe me, you'll be disappointed. There is a level of stature that is established in the spirit on account of your becoming. Let no man trouble me, he said, for I bear in my body. There is a record that I've served God in the midst of pain. Take it half for me. Is God speaking to someone? For by it the elders obtain. There are many elders that did not obtain anything in terms of promises. The Bible still asks them. There were others who were brought back to life, but there were others who refused. They rejected deliverance. And the Bible still called all of them elders. The one thing all of them had was faith. Then in verse 37, it says, Time will fail me to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. It says, Men who through faith subdued kingdoms, who are getting there, shut the mouth of lions, wrought righteousness, obtained promises. But then it does not stop there. Verse 34. It says, quench the violence of fire, escape the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, once valiant in fight, turn to flight the armies of the aliens. 35, women who received their dead back to life and others were tortured, watch this, not accepting deliverance that they might obtain. So they still obtain something. The Bible calls it a good report. Hallelujah. Do you know how the anointing, how olive is made? You carry the olive and then in the squeezing and in that pressing, they will keep going round and pressing it. When you sympathize with the condition of the olive, oil will never come. There are many, the human spirit never truly yields itself voluntarily. No, there are situations that compel you. Yours is to give God permission to have access to that making process. Hmm. So while the devil is mocking you and saying your life is not rising, no job, no money, you are broke, and your entire six hours prayer is full of a determination to force things to manifest. God is saying things will come. They will so come but not to this version of you. You are the one I want to change. I, I will change you to a version that cars will not stop coming to. And that is when before you call he will answer. He will give the heathenness an inheritance for you. Do you believe what I'm saying? Man of God, there is a version of you that members have been sent to come to. Not this version. No. Not the weak and the lazy version. Not the competitive and the jealous version. No. So while you pray and say, Lord, bring increase. He now says, go for seven days fasting. And at the end of it, you are disappointed because you think in that instruction, he will tell you the strategy for church growth. And you will never hear anything about church growth. Your disappointment becomes part of the raw materials for your making. Now you understand that the Bible says, for we know that all things, all, with the mastery of a chef, God is able to make all things. Your pain, your disappointment, they all become ingredients to produce something that is presented to the nations as a trophy. We call it glory. The glory of God in and through your life. Can I tell you, show me any man in scripture, in modern history and in the church today who is a champion of faith if the only thing you see is promises run away run away when you listen to great men you don't listen just about the promises the promises are flashy but the report is why the promises remain are we together 
if we ask Pastor Pojo now to tell us the story of his journey of this church and his journey with God you are going to find many points in the history of this church where certain promises when the promises don't come they are on their way sometimes they are not delayed by demons they are delayed by the laxity in your transition this is why it's important you manage your prayer about God destroying enemies because maybe you will be learning in the course of this conference who an enemy of God is an enemy of God is not someone you hate no an enemy of God is anyone who becomes a consistent interruption to the manifestation of his will even if it is Jonah <laughs> the jealousy of God fights anything that takes his place and interrupts his purposes even if it is something he gave that is why in the realm of the spirit promises don't amount to much not that they are they are inconsequential they are needed but your track record your testimonial in the spirit my dear sister please hear me whilst you are trusting God to give you a job in Lagos whilst you are trusting God to manifest certain things I want you to not disrespect the health in your prayer that has come as a result of that. The health in your word study life. Somebody told you, oh come, I will sleep with you and give you a job. And you refuse. And now you are feeling stupid for refusing. Because there are many people who are just conscious of things. And they are saying, what is there? And you are saying, but God. After refusing, when, when Joseph refused, uh, what's the name of that woman? Potiphar's wife. You would expect God to just intervene and reward him immediately. Do you know how many years he spent in the prison? For refusing. That was his track record. You see the pattern now. Many times believers think just because of standing for righteousness, certain promises manifest immediately. They will come, but you will celebrate their coming when you change. That is when you see the beauty of the manifestation. Can I tell you, there are many people's Christian lives today who have become defeated because promises were manifested to the wrong versions of them. The version that received the one billion was not a consecrated version. The version, there are certain temptations you have no business going through if God grants you grace to change. So there are times you are saying, God, just give me this one billion. And God says, it is in your destiny to have it. But you don't know the temptations that come into the realm of a one billion owner. You don't have the stamina to survive the attacks. Lord promote me to this office and he says it's in your journey. So you may go to the place of prayer and promotion is at your mind. It is not wrong. But you will find out that God's interest is not the promotion. And the, the more you yield to that becoming, the faster the promises come. Listen, for many years, I studied why a lot of people have balloon results. Today you are up, tomorrow you disappear. The reason is because most people do not understand the power of this heritage of a spiritual testimonial. 